Hey hoes. We are obviously in a car right now. I am about to drive to like a really big thrift store, I guess you would call it. In Australia, we call them op shops. So I'm gonna like kind of call it an op shop, kind of call it a thrift store. Just, I'm just gonna tell you that just so you know what I'm talking about. Um, so there's one near my house, like 20 minutes away, which is the one I'm gonna go to because I feel like spending money, even though I'm supposed to be saving for a car, that's not going very well. I just thought I'd let you guys know before we get there. I'm gonna try and film in there, but I don't really know how much I'm gonna do because it depends how busy it's gonna be and if I feel like actually filming or not. Also, like, I have a lot of necklaces on because I don't know who I'm trying to be, but I don't know if I like her or not. So I'm just gonna be wasting fuel and money today because I have a day off work. So yeah, I'll let you guys know when we get there. So I just arrived. It's called Savers. The Recycle Superstore. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna take my camera in with me, which means I'm gonna have to take a bag, which I'm not very happy about because I'm just not a bag bitch. But that's okay. Oh, that's what I need to do. I have decided to allow myself $100 to spend on thrifting and I'm gonna transfer that now. I'm gonna go in now. Let's see what happens. Let's see if this is gonna be successful or not. spent $51.94. So, I'll show you the first ones. They're just like, but like just classic denim jeans. Um, these ones are bull's head jeans, junkyard jeans. They cost me $8.50. I really like this bit on the back. I think that's just a basic girl thing. What I'm gonna try and do is do the old like, pull them up really high and then like take them in. I'll the next ones, these were, I saw these and I was like, that, they're the ones, they're the ones I need to get. So these, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but they're just a little bit different of a shade of denim. You might not be able to tell, but they're like a little bit lighter. So I tried them on and I was like, oh shit, these are the bomb. Like they're just so cool. Again, like I would roll up the bottoms. These are the brand Traders. Like, they just look so cool. So, when I tried them on, I noticed that the zip is broken. So I couldn't actually zip them up because, yeah, the zip is, like, fully just broken off. So I can't actually zip them up. I wasn't going to buy them because of that, but I was just going to get the other ones and leave these. And then I was like, oh, no, I think I'll get both and just see what happens. I actually know if I can fix this. Like, I know there is a way to fix them. But I don't know how. So I'm going to have to research that a bit. But I just couldn't leave them. I just, they're just, I just love them. Yeah, I couldn't leave them. So I'm going to have to figure out how to make them work. But these were $7.99. I am the biggest culprit of just going to a thrift shop and buying big t-shirts, big hoodies, things like that. I tried my hardest to like steer away from that and like get cool, like get stuff that I normally wouldn't wear. But you know, you can't, you can't, you can never go wrong with like an oversized hoodie or an oversized top. Like even like this is from the thrift store and it's like my favorite shirt ever. So I had to get myself a big hoodie. <laughs> I literally have just bought a massive hoodie that cost me like $30 and I wear it every day. But I was like, you can never go wrong. And this is like, brand new, it's fluffy. I don't actually know what it means, but it's an extra large. So it's like huge, but I just like it. Like how good, like I'm such a slut for an oversized hoodie. <laughs> so it says Fortuna Dance Center Performing Arts. And then it has that on the hood as well, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but that's okay. So yeah, 
I don't perform arts. I'm not one of, I don't go there. But it was ten ninety nine, and I couldn't, I just couldn't, I couldn't leave it. I've noticed that like recently I have kind of changed my whole outlook on like the whole thrifting thing. Because when I was younger, or when I first started like thrifting, I would just go in with like the intention of finding something like really specific or just wanting to find something branded that obviously I'm gonna get for cheaper. But now I just go in with like such an open mind and don't go in looking for anything specific unless I'm like, oh, I want a t-shirt, then that's fine because there's obviously a lot of t-shirts that you can find. I think if you go in with such an open mind and just want to find cool shit, like you're gonna have more of like more success i guess like you're gonna have a better outcome speaking this is just to kind of justify what i've just bought i i kind of grabbed this for a joke because i was like that's kind of weird i like that um and then i tried it on and i was like i don't even know how i feel about this but i got it anyway <laughs> it's just this blue top i don't really know man i just it's just a big oversized tee like there's nothing really to it I don't, I don't have any justification for it. It was $10, which is still kind of steep, to be fair. It costs more than the jeans. Um, and it just says UCR, College of Natural and Agricultural Sciences. So, yeah. And it's just a, like in a royal blue colour with like yellowy orangey writing that has like the periodic, well, parts of the periodic table on it. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't have any justification. <laughs> just thought it was fucking sick. So generally when I go to the thrift store, I'll look at the clothing, have a bit of a geese, maybe look at the shoes. I looked at the shoes today and I couldn't really find anything. So um, yeah, had a look at the shoes da -da -da, and then I'll just go back to clothes because I'll generally just stick with clothing. But today I went to like the furniture and like homewares bit. I highly recommend doing that. There were so many cool couches. I was like, I could buy a couch right now. There was like a cool couch for $10. It was like, I could buy that right now. If I really wanted to, if I had a big enough car, I would take that home right now. But like, I don't really know where I would put a couch, you know? Like, I don't need a couch. But there were some cool ones. Like, I highly recommend it. Just like have a look, like go in the sections that you would never normally go in and you'll find some cool shit. Just like, just a recommendation. So like along with all of that, I found this. I found a freaking straightener. I did not think you would even find things like this at a thrift store. This cost me $8. It is the brand David whatever that is i'm not even going to try and pronounce that because i know i'm going to butcher it i already have a straightener but it's kind of old and i've dropped it a lot so and i just thought can you really go wrong with a straightener for eight dollars i don't think so like i could have bought it i was like you know couch or straightener which one am i going to use so i just grabbed a straightener <laughs> cost me six dollars fifty and i'm again not really sure why i just kind of thought it looked cool and it feels like it's like brand new and the print on it is really cool so it says police water operations so it's got that on like the chest and then it has it on the back as well and it's just like a man in like a scuba suit carrying a lady out of the ocean i think could be a dam could be the river i don't know i just think it's really cool and the I don't know. And it's like, it's not like normal t-shirt material, if that makes sense. It's thick. And it's just feels very good quality and it just, I don't know. Just like it. So that's all I've got for now. I hope you guys enjoyed coming thrifting with me. Um, I want to do more videos like this um, because they're actually so fun to film and it gives me an excuse to like spend money so if you guys want any more of these then just let me know because i'll definitely do them i'll probably do more of these even if you don't want to see them so i'm gonna go film the try on clips now and yeah give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you didn't give it a thumbs down that's cool so i will see you guys in the next one hopefully